The unseen season of I Love Money has been talked about for a long time now. So, a couple of the cast members and I decided it was finally time to go ahead and dish out some of the details on what happened on the show. Before we get started though, I wanted to go ahead and clarify that we will not be talking about the stuff that happened with our cast member and his wife. We're going to just be focusing on the stuff that happened in the show. With the challenges, to be honest with you, I don't really remember all the ones I was a part of. I just have a couple that off the top of my head I remember. I remember there was one challenge. Um, it was this platform that was suspended above rocks and ocean. And for me, to be honest with you, I am terrified of heights, so this specific challenge was actually really hard for me. But thankfully they had me harnessed in and because I was Actually, at the time, the smallest person in the house, they had to double harness me to kind of make sure I didn't blow away. So on the platform, there are two runners, and they are blindfolded. And those two runners, um, it was Weasel and Fox. So they had to go through a series of obstacle courses blindfolded on their hands and knees, and they had to make it to the end to then pass a baton to each other and then crawl back. But the way they had to make it through the obstacle course was by me, the caller, telling them exactly what they needed to be doing and what obstacles they were coming up on and how they needed to get through the obstacles. Like I said, for me, it was really hard because I am terrified of heights, so this specific challenge was actually really hard for me. I honestly think the guys had it a little bit easier than I did because they were blindfolded and they didn't exactly have the chance to see down and see the impending doom below us. Um, but we actually kicked ass on this challenge and we actually won this one. One of the other challenges I remember, it was a hold me back challenge. Essentially, there was a runner and a holder and the holder stood on the box and had to hold on to this bungee cord that was attached to the runner's waist. It's kind of like a workout band, so it had a good stretch to it. Uh, so the runner had that around their waist and then the holder had to stand on this platform box and have gloves on and, and hold the person and basically they start running and you have to try and hold them back and you pull on the rope and pull on the rope and try and hold them and get them to kind of come back to you. Their obstacle was to try and run to the end of the field and not go to this mannequin that was the end of the field. So the person I was against was delicious. So they had her harnessed up and I started pulling and pulling and pulling and everyone was kind of surprised because I was so small that I was actually able to hold her back for a second. But something happened and the elastic kind of got caught and before I knew it, 
she just took off like a bat out of hell and I wasn't holding her anymore. I was flying through the air. And all I could hear was everybody around me going, oh! So I guess it looked pretty bad. Um, to this day, that is actually the main footage I really want to see because that was one of my favorite challenges and I would absolutely love to see the footage back from that. Okay, so there's two other challenges I can remember off the top of my head. There were definitely more than that, but my mommy brain just won't let me remember it right now for some reason. I can't remember the name of it. Oh, dead weight, that's what it was. The name of it was a dead weight competition. And basically everybody from both teams had to weigh in. So I was on the gold team and the weight that the entire team weighed together on the green team, that is what the weight was that we had to put in our coffin. Um, so the weight of our team had to go in the green team's coffin and we had to run those coffins to the end and basically whoever put all the weight in the coffins first and then got it to the end and put it in the hole first, um, they were the winners. And then the last challenge I remember was, and on this specific challenge, we were actually, there was a good group of us that were trying to throw the challenge because we wanted Ryan to go home at that time. So we had lines on our face and there was a series of things that each one of us had to do in order to try and make ourselves cry. So the thing that I had to do was, uh, I had a plate of onions in front of me and I had to cut these onions up and basically use them in any way I possibly could to try and get myself to cry. There was Weasel to the right of me and he had wax. All I remember in the midst of me trying not to get myself to cry was out of the corner of my eye, seeing Weasel wax his balls next to me. And he was just screaming, but he wasn't crying because he was one of the ones who was actually trying to uh, throw the challenge. There was other people around us though that did not know that we were trying to throw the challenges and the other person to the left of me, um, that was pretty. And he didn't know that I was trying to not win this competition. So he comes over to me after he was done doing, I can't even remember what it was, because keep in mind, Weasel's over there waxing his balls. You kinda, you're trying not to cry and then you have someone next to you waxing your balls. It's kinda hard to focus on anything else going on. Anyways, so after Pretty got done, he comes over and he starts shoving onions up my nose and in my mouth and starts twisting on my eyes, trying to get me to cry. I was trying so hard not to, which was absolutely impossible. But thank God, the timer went off and I managed to make it through the whole challenge without hysterically crying with the onions in my eyes and up my nose and in my mouth. Unfortunately, those are all the challenges that I can remember off the top of my head. Like I said, there was definitely a lot more that I was involved in, but for some reason I just can't think of them right now. Some of the challenges that I remember from the show was the first episode, which was literally right when we moved out of the hotel and we were going to move into the house. We pulled up on the beach and there was this big giant silver piggy bank dangling from a beam. It was a break the piggy bank challenge. Now if anybody remembers my time on Megan Wants a Millionaire, I'm not sure if the challenge and what happened with my piggy bank on that show had something to do with each other. But um, I thought I totally had this in the bag, you know, piggy bank challenge, I'm used to broken piggy banks. Uh, I sucked. <laughs> I really, really sucked. And I remember that Big Rig, he won. Weasel was the other winner. So Big Rig and Weasel, by winning that challenge, got to pick teams. And when we got back to the house, I remember somebody coming up to me and telling me that me, Cocktail, and Pretty were the three that uh, Weasel and Rig were trying to send home that night. So I had Cocktail go talk to Rig, and she worked her magic because she was a cute girl and she had boobs, and Big Rig liked girls and he liked boobs. So it worked. And <laughs> I just remember, I, I tried playing the victim that first night, like, nobody knows me, everybody hates me, blah, blah, blah. It worked. So I actually got hit, and I remember that Rig actually ended up keeping cocktail over his girlfriend at the time, Marcia, and I was just in ecstasy because I, I got to stay another day. I, was, I totally thought I was going to go home. I don't know how I worked that one, and I was super drunk the whole time, but I remember when uh, Marcia was leaving, she took her check and she walks up to cocktail and bam, right across the face.
far as the challenges go, pretty much I was in every goddamn challenge from first to the damn last. The funniest was we had to do something and, and it was a wax a part of a body and I was like, ah, fuck it, I'll just do my yams. 100% remember the dead weight challenge in the desert. That was absolutely the hottest I've ever had to do a physical activity. Um, if I remember correctly, I remember a professor was in that challenge. And he was built like a strong bull, and it was so hot that he actually dropped the heat stroke that day. Remember the splashdown challenge. We had to get the water into, I think we had to get the water the highest on the wall or something like that. I totally busted Lacey trying to throw that challenge. I'll tell you, one, the one challenge I thought was really cool was the one where you had a person with a bungee cord one where you, you had to pull, either the person had to get to like the, the, the dummy or the marker and touch it while the other person tried to pull them back. That was, uh, that was cool. I liked that one because, uh, you know, that was up my alley as far as, you know, just, you know, just challenge-wise as far as like, you know, how guys are, you know. Buggy chest out and do something. You know, I like that kind of stuff. So I do remember that one. I remember the one that we did. Uh, I was the one you remember that we did that they had hanging over the cliffs. That one was pretty wild. When we first got there, of course, before we even really got to the challenges, but I remember the first challenge where it was the, uh, the captains, you know, the big, you know, the captains. I remember that they had the, uh, the blindfolded you. They had the coins, you know, you pick your member up, you know, or but no, it was like a pinata or some shit. And as far as alliances go, you know, of course, right from right from when we docked up on the fucking beach, you know, me and Weasel was we knew right then. Actually when we first started the first deal, you know, the piggy bank thing, you know, that's when me and Weasel Reese was like, hey look, check this out. You know. You, you keep catching, I keep catching. You know, that's that was what the plan was. Uh, it ended up working out perfectly the way it did because he made him actually won. Um, that that just man, the, uh, it just fell such in place. Um, you know, especially right from the gate when that happened. And, you know, I just kind of, I just kind of took it from there. And just took the reins and just just went with it. You know. I think I was probably, oh, I didn't want to thinking about it. I ran the fucking house. I remember in elimination, I'll never forget this. You know, I had people on their side, you know, rolling with me. And, and everybody, damn, the girls, I remember it was Lacey. And, uh, it was, was it delicious? I was like, oh, this is going to be so good. Because I remember that elimination. You know, they would say, they would call your name. And then you'd have the votes, and then as soon as the votes, that that was it. So you raise your hand, bam, they counted, boom, you, you go or go. I remember when my name came up, and uh, and that happened, and the two girls, what, it was like, her, I don't remember, I it was Lacey and Delicious, and I can't remember, maybe it was one other person raised my hand, but what was so fucking funny to me, I was waiting on it, and I was like, oh, this is going to be the fucking best. And then it got quiet and they looked around at everybody. Everybody that was supposed to raise their hands with them that they thought. And they were like, what the fuck? And then uh, they just, just everybody blew the fuck up in there. And I just remember sitting there laughing. And I looked at, uh, yeah, remember Ugly uh, Craig going, oh, well, wait a minute. Hey, boats are in, right? <laughs> As far as alliances go, right from the get-go, it was me and Rick, before we even got on the airplane to leave to Mexico, and uh, that alliance hung strong all the way until he got that spider bite and got a huge infection and had to get sent back to the States. And then that's when myself, Hood, and I believe it was Ryan started the lion up and getting all our fucking ducks in a row and rode that all the way to the final episode. I pretty much got along with everybody in the house. Uh, the majority of the time on the show, I kind of rode under the radar. I only have one actual dedicated alliance set up, and that was Big Ray and Weasel. Unfortunately, that got a little iffy when Big Ray got sick and had to leave the show. I had a really unfair disadvantage that everybody else did in the house. So, 
you guys probably barely even remember me because my time on TV was very short-lived. I was on the first three episodes of Megan Wants a Millionaire until that got canceled. And right from filming Megan Wants a Millionaire, maybe like a month, two months later, we hopped right into filming season three of I Love Money. And the problem that I had was, it was me and Ryan, we were the only two from Megan's show to bounce on to I Love Money season three. So nobody knew who we were. Our show hadn't aired yet. So I mean, we're on there with like Lil Hood and Cocktail and Pretty, people that had already had exposure for a good like six to eight months. So everybody really knew who each other were. There were some legends in the house, obviously like Delicious, Winter of, uh, Flavor of Love, Lacey from Rock of Love. Nobody had any idea who I was. They just heard I was from a show called Megan Wants a Millionaire and why the hell would a millionaire be on a TV show trying to compete for $250,000? So right off the bat, I really had to be nice to everybody and kiss everyone's ass so they did eliminate me. Um, Ryan definitely had the same disadvantage, but he was much better at playing the game than I was, so he made it a lot further. Some of the other things that I remember was me and Little Hood. Me and Little Hood were little troublemakers, so we would go sneak away and drink and smoke cigarettes, and a lot of the cast hated that we smoked cigarettes at that time. Because it was like, okay guys, get ready, we're gonna be doing a physical challenge, and we're like fucking Patty and Selma from The Simpsons, like, <sighs> one moment please. The only person that I really had beef with was Ryan. And it was kind of strange because on um, Megan Wants a Millionaire, everybody hated me. Everybody was super mean to me on that show, um, except him. He was actually one that was really, really nice. And I appreciated that. Moving into the house, I love money three, I guess, because now there's money on the line. He definitely didn't take kindly to me and he really turned his back on me right at the beginning. Um, so he was really the only one that I would say we exchanged words, we had a couple altercations, and ultimately he did eliminate me. I was pissed off, it was the 4th of July, and I was so fucked up. He said, no, you can't, I'm eliminating myself. And I like took the void stamp and I went to void my check. I can void you too, motherfucker. It did not work, I fell over the table and the, the void stamp went flying. I grabbed my glass of wine, I was like, fuck. This, I was walking away and CJ's like, don't you want to say bye to everybody? I was like, yeah, and then Ryan said something to me that pissed me off, so I turned around, full glass of wine, boom, right in the face. It was like, I nailed that. And then I dropped the glass of wine, I took my check, I gave a little hood and everybody a hug, and flipped everybody off, and I went on my merry way. At the end of my time on the show, I did end up having some issues with two of the girls that were there, which is the reason that I ended up going home. There was Talk of the Ray J girls starting our own little alliance and kind of banding together since we were on a previous show together. Long story short, Cashmere and Cocktail set me up. Cocktail and my Cashmere come ask me if at some point in time down the road, if I needed to, would I eliminate her? And my response was, well, yeah, of course. Uh, it's kind of everybody for themselves at that time, so I would kind of eliminate anybody I needed to. Uh, I didn't know it, but Cocktail was actually sitting on the stairs right around the corner from where we were sitting, and she heard everything that I said. Later on at the elimination, it was kind of known that Cocktail was actually supposed to eliminate Ryan. Um, it wasn't just a plan between the Rage of Girls, it was a plan between us and a group of people. It really wasn't often that Ryan was up for elimination, so this was our actual chance to get him to go home. Because of the situation that happened earlier, Cocktail did decide that she was going to go ahead and send me home instead. I, at the time, was kind of like, oh crap, while well, I was set up, but at the same time, it, I kind of should have expected it. I'm not really that great at playing mind games and being, you know, deceitful, so that really was my bad. When I was leaving the elimination, I kind of told Cocktail that Karma's a bitch, and it was gonna smack her in the face like Marcia did with her big ass check. Um, she really didn't care for that much. Um, apparently, I leave these shows with a big bang. So that was how I got eliminated from I Love Money. I actually got called staff when we were in Mexico. So got me put down, but that was, uh, man, that was a fucking bummer. I had had, I, I, I thought maybe, it, and I guess it could have been a spider bite or whatever. I just remember right by my knee on my right leg. I was just kind of, we had bug bites all the time, you know. You just, you know, it's like something scratch. Well, I was just scratching. Uh, it kind of stabbed up. So it was just kind of like, you know, like a, like a bug bite if you fucking scratch it. Remember, it was, I was just like, damn, man, this thing's kind of, 
weird looking, whatever. I didn't pay it no attention. And I remember we were doing the challenge. What challenge was that? We were facing, we were doing something, racing right? something, because I remember getting down. Like just say like in a stance or some shit three point and then when I did my sh- you know my shorts kind of raised up on my knee and I remember one of the producers someone behind the camera crew or something going damn man hey do you like what's up with your leg I was like what do you mean I said I don't know it's some bug bite or something he goes man that looks pretty bad that was late that was late in the game remember we went to the hospital it was ended up being staffed what I left the show you know I was. The, the main motherfucking character then and it was kind of iffy for the producers but I remember them, they actually let me come up with how I wanted to end you know film end, you know film my ending they just kind of really let me do it myself that was real I thought was badass they kind of let me I guess you could say be in the production of hey how do you want to end this so I actually come up with the idea of you know making a video and kind of you know because I had to go because I, I couldn't at that time you know, I needed surgery treatment. And or it was actually two options. It was either could have stayed there or go back to the States. You know. After, uh, you know, a few little taking blood things, just a little, I was kind of like, ah, yeah, this one ain't gonna get me out of here. It's actually pretty cool, you know, in the hospital. They kind of just let me see them, say what's up, advise to everybody and shit like that. But I mean, the one thing that they did do is that I knew they, would, they never let anybody do outside phone calls, which y'all, I remember y'all talking, y'all calling, and I was helping, I remember helping we, you know, that was left at the time, trying, you know, hey, this, if you want to win this fucking game, this is what you need to do, trust me. I mean, it's a game, and I, I mean, it, it, ever, you know, to an extent, everybody gets played. It's up, you know, having to leave the way I, you know, because that was a thing. the way I had to go, I mean, I had to get, you know, I had to eliminate myself from the game. Is what happened, you know, pretty much. Well, I couldn't go on, but it, but other than that, it was like there was no show without me, other than me eliminating myself. Man, I wish they would play damn shit, just release the damn thing. That would have been so epic. I wild the fuck out. Final day of filming, it was down to Wolf, Cocktail, Bubbles, Ryan, and myself. And the challenge was you got launched up on a, a like a bungee jump type thing, and you had to release a heavy bag the farthest away and get the most points. And basically what happened was uh, Wolf didn't get the bag anywhere near the landing where he had to, so he actually eliminated himself. So then it came down to who got the higher points, and Ryan ended up getting first place, I ended up getting second place, Cocktail ended up getting third place, and Bubbles ended up getting fourth place. We all went back to the house, uh, Ryan and I had a private one-on-one, uh, and basically I told him, Ryan, I don't want the money, I just want the fame of the show, so if you need the money to square up shit with your old lady, I'm good with it. Let us send one of the girls home, and I, I want to send Cocktail home because Bubbles will never win the challenge, the final challenge that we have to do. And he agreed to it. And then during our elimination ceremony, uh, you know, he stretched it out as long as possible. And then, believe it or not, he called me out. And when I started walking toward him, I said, Ryan, we had a deal, and you're not holding up your end of the bargain. And he goes, Well, it is what it is. And I jumped over the table, ended up beating the shit out of them, where Carlos, Jimmy P, and Craig had to pull me off them. So basically, my check never technically got void stamp mark at all on it. And then uh, we finished filming the rest of the evening, and then the challenge happened between Ryan, Cocktail, and Bubbles. And... Nobody can really say who won. Everybody's saying Ryan won. Cocktail won't say anything. Bubbles won't say anything. And obviously Ryan can't say anything from the grave. So uh, it's kind of been up in the air ever since. But my my hunch is that Ryan probably won the whole thing. But I'm not 100% sure. It would have been the best I love money ever fucking aired to date.